Hey everybody, today we're making soap. Um, I'm a little rustic today, so pardon me. Um, but uh, we're gonna try a salt crystal soap, crystal salt soap situation. That's what we're gonna do today. So let's get crack a -lacking. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I, I got me a new little stand situation so you can actually see what's going on inside of here. So I had sea salt um, and I wanted to use the pink Himalayan sea salt because we're going to do kind of a pink themed soap. But so I want to show you, now normally when they do these salt or they do these soaps, these uh, uh, salt crystal soap situations, they do a top, like a top down soap, like the top is facing up. But I really want to make bar soaps and I really want to put this on, I really want to put this in a bar. I want to put that, that kind of crusty, crystally thing on the top. So here's what I did. I have this little spoon that I got from Pampered Chef. It's an ice cream spoon. And I just, I just take this and I'm going to put this just very gently in the corner. Just run it right down the corner. I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm going to zoom in and see if you can see it better. So I'm just uh, I'm just putting this right in the side. I don't care if it if it spills out over here, because I have seen these soaps. Um, I saw Amy Warden do one of these soaps because um, this is where I got this was January soap challenge that I wasn't really a member of yet, but I'm kind of working backwards so I can you know. I don't know, hone my skills or expand my vision. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, and I'm just going to go in on this side because it's going to be, this is a, this is a two, two loaf tall and skinny. So I want this to be on the outsides of the bar. So I'm just going to put some of this right here in the, on the edges. So the edges are a little or a little crystally looking. Just like that. And like I said, I don't care if some of it gets out into the, I might just pinch it and sprinkle some on here. Woo! Danger, danger, Will Robinson. Okay. And so then with this bigger stuff, I'm just gonna lay that. And I don't know if you can see it, but I marked, this is the half point, and then I marked my individual bars. So I'm gonna try to stay in that situation, in those little lines when I place this big fat stuff. I'm not salt shaming. This larger, this coarser grind. So we're just gonna, I was gonna sprinkle a little bit of that, like just in every spot that would be a, a slice. You know what, I'm not even gonna be that careful. I'm just gonna put some everywhere because I'm gonna turn the soap on its, on. so this this right here where I'm putting the salt, that's the top of the soap. So I'm gonna put it on its top anyway to cut it so that, that big salt doesn't drag through my, and I might put a couple just here, hey, higgledy piggledy, as long as it's in the bar space. All right, so that's how I'm gonna set this up. I'm gonna pour one um, layer of soap on here, and then I'm gonna put a really fabulously uh, gold dust, I'm using gold dust mica from Nurture Soap. So one like that, like that, like so. Come on, honey. Come on, baby, there we go. Um, that's what I'm using for my mica line. And the soap itself is going to be in, I'll show you inside my buckets real quick. It's just the tiniest bit. And this is Coral Mica from Brambleberry. Um, and I have a little bit of Snowflake Sparkle Mica in that. No, I don't, I'm lying. You know, I am, I'm telling the truth. It is, yeah, that's right. And then this is, um, so it is Blushed Pink from Rustic Essentials and also some Icicle Mica from Rustic Essentials. Rustic Essentials. Rustic Essentials, Daddy. That's what's in these buckets. 
I like, I've got like a ton of soap to make this month. And um, I'm just cracking, cracking it out. So here goes my lye water. I have a little bit of sea salt in here. Um, and I have some confectioner sugar in that. And I have distilled water in with my lye. And the oils in here, pretty standard coconut oil, palm oil, olive oil, castor oil, apricot kernel oil, and some cocoa butter. Cocoa, you better don't. Cocoa, you better don't. That's what I am. Okay. So I am using for my fragrance today. I don't know if you can see that. There's your soaps. Come on, camera. Come on, honey. Herbalicious. Because this soap is too herbalicious for you, baby. It does not accelerate trace. Good thing for me. I'm putting in a little bit of titanium dioxide. This is the water soluble kind. Why? Because I dig that kind. And I am the boss of this soap. So. Since we're gonna pour, or rather, scoop out on top of this salt in these little buckets and in our mold, we don't want this to be too thick, because if it's too thin, it'll move our, it'll shift the salts around. It'll shift the salts of time around our little silicone mold situation. We don't want it to happen. All right, so I'm gonna, Pour off just a teensy tiny bit. Where's my little bucket? So I'm pouring a little bit of that. Oh, not that. I'm pouring a tiny little bit of this pink in here. Just a tiny bit, like that. Because I just want this to have a tiny pink hue. I'm gonna use this. I don't want it to be super de duper pink and you can already see how that's swirling around pink. But I just want it to be just a breath of pink. Just a tiny breath of pink. Spring, maybe that's not even gonna be enough. Maybe I'll have to get some more. Let's just see. Just a tiny bit more here. I'm pouring some of this in here like this. And I'm pouring some of this in here. Pour high, because if you don't, you'll have a mess, like I just made just a second ago. Okay. So, I'm going to take this out, and we're going to pour it in. I don't care about leaving any for the top because the salt, the salty top is gonna be the top of the soap. And the salty bottom. Salty bottom is always on top. I don't ever do that, but I did it today, right? Okay. So now, look at, look at that. Look at that. So let's bring our little molds back over. So now, we're just gonna take some of this, just by dips. I'm gonna put it right on top of that, like that. I feel like I could put this in a bucket. I probably should. I just am afraid to move that salt. Just this first layer.
just gently kind of pouring this on here, hoping that it's gonna look a little bit like, like rose quartz. Okay, now I'm gonna bang that down. And I'm gonna bring my other mold over here because I have to do two of these today. And I did get a little extra salt in the middle of this one. We'll see how it goes. All right, now, now it's time for magic. I got my beat up tea ball. Mama. I got my beat up tea ball and we're gonna put some um, gold dust glitter in it. Um, so we can do a mica line. Which to me, this makes the most effective mica line ever. how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. I think I was a bird in a past life. Because buddy, if it sparkles, it makes me happy. And I like french fries a lot, so you know. There's also that. Now on top of that, I'm going to spray some of this. Just to give it a little extra. This is Snowflake Sparkle Mica. just to put some glitzy on it. Ugh. Sometimes these are great. Sometimes you have to really honk on them. Okay. We're gonna let that sit while I do this one. Scoot over, baby. Mama's gotta work on your sister. Big thread off my sp So I found these little things at Lowe's and you're supposed to put them under things that you paint. But I found that they kind of work good to do different kinds of angles. I mean, they're not the best things ever. And if I had some shims, that'd probably be better. But they work. So I got some because I just want to do a slight tilt on the soap before we pour the next, the next level in. So I am, I am going to start at this end and I am going to really super break this fall because I don't want it to go into our uh, fabulous Michelin. And it's just a tiny bit of an incline. It's not a big giant incline. I think we might be okay. I don't know if you can see that, just that little bit of variation of color. That's what I'm hoping will come out of this soap. mica lines and I love it when you put glitter in the mica line look I do a good heavy glitter line because I don't like a weak glitter line if I'm gonna have a glitter line I'm having a glitter line you know I like it when you can put a little extra sparkle in it especially if you can get some glitters and put in there because it just shows through on your little soapy soaps it makes your soaps look like magic I love when you have a good soap in the shower like when I first started making my big love soap I loved that soap so much. It was all I could do not to take a shower every time I went to the bathroom. It's crazy. I was crazy pants about it. But it is what it is. So um, I'm going to do the other one, and I'll be right back. And we'll then we'll put the finishing one on this. Okay, so I took it off the... I took the soap off of the... Let me move this up a little bit. So you can see over here, this is starting to move fast, so I kind of got to move fast too. So I already did one. But I'm just going to lay the soap right here on this edge, just like that. I'm going to put a little bit more on here. You can see how thick it's getting. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm gonna grab my spatula and I'm going to turn this over. I don't know if you can see it if I turn it over, but I'm just going to pat it. I'm gonna give it a nice little pat down. Just 
like that. What I'm trying to do is make it look like, like, like a, like a, you know how sometimes veins in marble will have like a V in it, like a, like they'll branch off. That's kind of what I'm trying to make it look like. So there's that. And now we will put a mica line on. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. And while that's sitting, I'm gonna clean up my sides just a tiny little bit. Cause we have gotten messy today. Just like that, like so. Okay. And now we're gonna give that just a couple minutes and we're gonna pour the rest of our soap on it. So it's gotten pretty thick, but I really feel like I can stir it up and get it loosened up enough so we can, we can pour it. So I'm just gonna go in this because we know this is already solid. Just start laying the soap on. I'm gonna let that get adjusted to its new home before I do anything else with it. And we'll fill this bucket up and let it roll. oven. I don't normally do that, but I'm going to do that with this soap. My oven is already heated to 170. And um, I'm going to put a lid on these and pop them in there and let them turn the oven off and let them sit overnight. And we're going to see what we got in the morning. Um, I did panic a little bit, which, you know, I wish I wouldn't, but I can't help it. I think it's just my nature. Um, we'll see what this looks like tomorrow, right? Of course, right? Love you, Mrs. Pieces. Look, thank you so much for watching this. I sure do appreciate it. Look, I'm going to tell you, I look like I have dark circles today. I'm trying Laura Mercier um, Tinted Moisturizer. I think I need a little bit more. I've been sleeping really well, so just in case you're wondering. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. We'll see what we got. Bye. So it's been 24 hours. I took the soap out of the wooden molds, still in the silicone molds. I'm interested to see what happened on the inside. I'm interested to see, I, I know that the salt crystals are gonna fall off the top, which is what we want to have happen. So It'll be interesting to see, interesting to see what it looks like on the top. So, um, I've got gum in my mouth. I'm gonna go spit it out. Um, I used to have a teacher that told me that chewing gum made you look trashy. I thought it was, I thought it was minty fresh, which was the reverse of trashy. But anyway, I'm gonna spit it out. And we're gonna cut this soap up. Thanks for sticking around this long. It means something to me. It really does. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna one mold this one. Hi 
I don't hate this so. I mean, I know that this is going to discolor down to these other colors, and I'm fine with that. I got some glycerin rivers, which I kind of think it makes it look a little bit marbly. I don't hate this soap. Okay. You go right there. extra salt off so we have a little crunchy looking top I think it's groovy I'm gonna go get my other cutter and I'm gonna be right back because I think that's a nice size bar I, I, I use I like to use soap nets um, because I feel like they uh, help keep the soap around a lot longer so I encourage people who buy my soaps to do that. So I like some bars are just way too big. Some bars kind of rattle around in a soap net. So I feel like this is a, a pretty decent size. show you an inside piece. Give me just a sec. I can't tell if that's focusing or not. But I really kind of dig this. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna become these other colors. I know that. But um, this tiny little sparkly line of gold and then the veining here, I really think, y'all, I think we kind of did it. I'm not, I'm not crying about this soap. And it smells super good. If you've never used Herbalicious, you know, it behaved. It was cute. It smells really good. Here's a better shot of the Michael wine. So cool. Can you see it shimmering in the... So cool. It's actually like this. Because <laughs> that's the top of the soap. So, I told you that we went and got our shots, our vaccines yesterday, and um, man, I was good all day until about 8 o'clock, and then my arm, oh my god, I thought I needed a sling, it hurt so bad. Um, and then this morning I woke up, I had crazy nightmares all night, and then... When I woke up this morning, I'm like super tired today. And this is just our first one. So I don't I don't know what the second one's gonna be like. Um but you know we'll be licking doorknobs in no time. No, we won't. We'll be careful. We'll be super de duper careful just like we are now. Because supposedly, after you've had the vaccine, you can still get it, but not have symptoms, and then you can pass it on to other people. And I honestly believe that that's, that's the biggest value of a mask, is just not to make other people sick, you know? 
having your having yourself be safe that's brilliant and smart but trying not to make other people sick you know that's kind and I feel like we need a lot of kindness these days we should all just be a little bit kind well we should be a lot of kind but I always say be very kind be every kind that's what makes life interesting. I'm gonna celebrate each other. Whoops, excuse me, it's in my truck. We gotta celebrate each other and make sure that we aren't being mean to each other and um, just be nice. Just be nice. Soap is so cool, y'all. I mean, look, by far, it is like the messiest and most time-consuming thing that I do. I do a lot of stuff, but uh, it for real is messy and makes me have dishes and like a whole other building to do it in. <laughs> but I love it so much. And when you give people gifts of your handmade soap or when you sell handmade soap and people come back, for more soap, you're like, oh man, I did a really good thing because I learned how to make this and it's valuable. Look, you see my lips? I am wearing a lip lacquer from Suck Less Cosmetics in the color Puss. I also didn't spit my gum out. <laughs> All right. This was um, a soap challenge from January because I'm going to go backwards for a little while. Um, there is a soap challenge for March, but we are not allowed to post about it until it's all over, which is, uh, I guess, okay. But um, I definitely would have remade this soap if that was my challenge. But I'm not, I'm not unhappy with it now. I'm glad I did it. I might try it again in some other kind of way, but for right now, I'm feeling kind of good about it. Yeah, look how cool that is. I love it. But I want to tell you that my stainless steel table came in. So before too much longer, we should be able to have a, a, a much more um, a much more effective setup for filming. It makes me super happy. All right, well look, I love you Mises to pieces. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you are a soap maker and you've not ever tried the, any of those soap challenges, do it, do it. I'm telling you what, it really, um, even if you even if you join that club and you don't enter any of the contests the stuff on that website is super valuable i mean there's a lot of great information from a lot of people who have been making soap for a long time and you know there there is nothing wrong with challenging yourself if you don't keep growing i mean come on we have to keep growing so i think it's it's smart to challenge yourself and i think it's smart to give yourself opportunities to do things that you wouldn't even necessarily think of doing we're all just and i'm saying this because i'm filming this on international women's day you know a lot of us are women making soap and come on we got to support each other i mean women should empower other women and I feel like that's what's going on with this soap club or this soap challenge club. So go empower yourself. Go sit with some people who um, love to do what you do and learn some good stuff. I am not happy. I am not unhappy that I did it. That's, the, that's just the God's honest truth. But anyway, love you me sister pieces. Thanks so much for watching. And um, if you want to hit like, I'll be really grateful. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, I guess, you know what? It makes me do a little happy dance in my, in my little office chair. Every time I go check, I'm grateful for it.
And I think right now I'm at 194. Oh my, oh my gosh. I never would have thought that. I never would have thought that. Now I'm like thinking, could I actually get 200? Really, 200 people want to know what I have to say. It's pretty groovy. Anyway, um, please do something to give yourself joy this week. Put something on your calendar to look forward to. And thanks for watching. See you later.